The 2016 USBC Masters rolls on live at Woodland Bowl in Indianapolis. We've reached the title match. 10 frames of bowling. Number one seed, Anthony Simonson, just turned 19 with a win. He would become the youngest player in the history of the PBA Tour to win a major title. Going up against Dan McClellan, looking to be the first Canadian ever to win. Our Roltec stat, 300 games during the USBC Masters, 11 of them shot during qualifying at this event and none during match play. Stats by Roltec. And now, Anthony Simonson elects to begin. Likes the right lane better, obviously. 19 out of Princeton, Texas. Big pin reaction, strike for Simonson. Two-handed style of Anthony Simonson. He's actually a little lower rev rate two-hander than we're used to seeing from guys like Belmonte, Osku, uh, Jesper Svensson. Two great stories competing for this title. Dan McClellan up first frame. Oh, he matches him with a late fall of the nine. McClellan going through his personal challenges to find himself back in the spotlight on the PBA Tour, as has Anthony Simonson. Here's a second look at the late fall of the nine. Nice pin action there, kicking that nine out late. He's won singles gold, a uh, singles gold medal in 2014 men's WBA World Championship in Abu Dhabi. Gold medals in Canada, the Pan Am Games in 2015. Touch wide, light four. Some of his collegiate accomplishments that you alluded to in the last match, he's done everything except win on this tour. Dropped his PBA touring card, competing as an amateur at this event. Working in the bowling industry in Kitchener, Ontario for Frederick Lanes at 3 a.m. and in a title battle. On the other side of the coin, 19-year-old Anthony Simonson won everything he could win as a junior player. Left high school to become in pursuit of a professional bowler, surmounting many obstacles along the way. Wes Malott was talking to Anthony after his loss to Dan McClellan, and he told Anthony, he says, listen, just some food for thought, but I played the right lane hooking two more boards than the left lane. And take a look at Anthony's arsenal, Optimus Solid. You know, a, another great story about this young man is that he's actually currently a member of Junior Team USA because he's under the age of 21. Opening double, third frame for Simonson. And he gets the strike. Him and Jesper Svensson are both uh, on their their country's uh, junior teams, respectfully. They'll be at the World Youth Championships in Nebraska in July. Simonson turning pro, becoming the rookie of the year in the Southwest region in 14. He lost his mother last year in 2015, went on to win the United States Bowling Congress Doubles Championship. McClelland up in the third. And that's a light two pin. Dan McClellan only bowling 216 the last game after Malat just scorched him with back-to-back 258s. 216 is not going to be enough to win this title match. I don't know if it's a ball change for Dan or if it's changing his angles, getting softer with his hand and opening the lane up more, which he can most certainly do. But the ball reaction that he has right now, the way he's playing the lanes, I don't think is conducive to him bowling a big game. Talked to us yesterday. He said he needs to trust himself more, and he is trusting himself more in these situations. You know, he's, he's very unique in that he's a power player that likes to go really straight. Good pitch, strike for McClellan in the fourth. 
you hear him say it, he's talking to himself saying soft, soft. And maybe the way for his ball to react better is just by getting his speed down just a bit, but getting back to Anthony Simonson, I was speaking to his tour consultants today, and uh, Jim Callahan, Del Ballard Jr., and Tim Mack, and they said that they've never seen anything like this young man. Light and first challenge, a 2-10 split. Said he's mature beyond his years and experienced in both life and bowling. Right now, his first obstacle has that nice lead working on the front three and then the 210. Let's see if he can slide the two pin over. Open frame for Anthony Simonson, the loss of his mother last year prior to bowling at the United States Bowling Congress Open Championships where he won the doubles there with his partner Mark Sleeper Jr. He dedicated that victory to his mother. Here's Simonson's roll through match play undefeated A.J. Johnson runner up here last year Bill O'Neill Jesse Buss 6 and 0 on the way to the title match he's up by seven pins fifth frame seven pin the last of fall strike for Simonson four out of five 417 bowlers competed this week he was the only one that went undefeated McClelland clean strike spare spare strike Chance to take the lead here with a double. Ten pin. A lot of pressure on Dan's shoulders, as he alluded to the other night, speaking with us, saying, you know, I want to be the first Canadian to win on the PBA Tour. No, no other Canadian has ever won under the bright lights of the biggest stage in our sport. Considering the right lane, considering what we saw from West Milan, is Dan McClellan seeing something similar in terms of his ball reaction? I mean, I gotta go with West Milan. If West Milan was playing the right lane to hook more, I, I gotta believe the right lane's drier. He had the best ball reaction out of everyone today. But you know, everybody's balls you know, everybody's got a little different ball roll, and, and you know, maybe it reacts harder for Wes, and maybe it doesn't for Dan McClellan, but, I, I mean, I go with the guy that had the best look, and that was Wes. I think the right lane hooks more. Back half of our title match, sixth frame. Perfect shot for Dan McClellan, and Kimberly Pressler is with Wes Ballot. Thanks, Mike. I sure am. Wes, thanks for taking the time to talk with me, especially after that heartbreaking loss. It all came down to that last shot. Were you in your head? Well, a little bit. Um, I don't even put it on the last shot. I put it a shot in the ninth frame when I 2-8-10. Um, that was the key shot in the match, in my opinion. Uh, I really feel like this was my tournament, and I kind of gave it away. And uh, now I've got to take it home and regroup, get ready for next week, and, and not do this again and learn from it. Well, we, during the break, we saw you talking to Anthony. What advice did you give him? Oh, Anthony's a Texas boy, and, uh, you know, he's like my, kind of like my son. Um, so, uh, you know, give him any advice and, and kind of told him what I saw on the lanes and uh, how, you know, the difference that I had him. And, and you know, I didn't want to uh, embed it in his brain, but I want to give him a little food for thought to just to, to have in the back of his mind, and, and maybe it'll help him and get his first title, and or not his first title, but his first major and be the youngest uh, of all time to do that. Well, I'm sure it was helpful. Guys, back to you. Simonson, seven frame, double working. Bang, bang, plus 27. How can you be that solid at 19? It, it's, um, it, it's, it's a real phenomenon. It, it's very unique. You don't see it. Um, you know, we were talking about Norm Duke, and was Norm Duke this mature when, when he was out? Remember Norm being the youngest to ever win a title at age 18? And the answer is no, Norm wasn't. Uh, he had a nice little run there when he was when he first came out on tour, but it took Norm many years to mature into the superstar Hall of Famer that Norm Duke is today. Haven't heard the last from Dan McClellan striking the seventh, and he cuts the lead to 17. Another one gets it into single pins late in the title match at the Masters. So this is what major championships are all about, and players just 
leaving it all out on the lanes. This match certainly coming down to the eighth, ninth, and tenth frame. Dan McClellan steps up now, can cut the lead, or excuse me, cut the deficit to seven. Eight frame. Oh no. Solid nine. It's like getting a rabbit punched right in the throat. What a terrible break. Just a beautiful shot, and the ball goes right by it. Mm. Sport can be so cruel at times. It just makes a great shot. And, oh, you see the result right there. Spare for McClellan. He trails by 18. <laughs> Big thanks to Jim, Doty, and everybody here. Jim, the general manager at Royal Pin Centers, the great history of Woodland Bowl and their participation in championships and majors. One of the great venues in professional bowling. Yeah, and he's one of the one of the greatest uh, greatest proprietors and people you'll ever meet. And Mr. Doty is just a great guy and has always been a friend of the PBA and the players. Thank you for all you do for us, Jimmy. Turkey working, Simonson, and Frank. Throws it out, four bagger with a bunch of pin action. Well, watch this ball go out for burger and fries and come back with steak and baked potato. And that couldn't have happened at a better time working on a three bagger. Throwing some bacon bits. Turkey open, four bagger, Simonson leading by 28. Bidding to become the youngest ever to win a major on the PBA Tour. Foundation frame. Yeah. Walked it out, drives it straight back. Team Fish rooting their compatriot on. His doubles partner, Connor Pickford, sitting to the left. Kyle Troop to the right. Anthony Simonson, what an incredible story. Bowling's band of brothers. And now Dan McClelland can still shoot 228 with strikes in the 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. The biggie, though, was the solid nine in the eighth frame. He would have had a four-bagger there. He'd been in the 220s. He could have struck out for 240. He couldn't have shut out Anthony Simonson, but he could have made him think about it now. Simonson just needs to stay behind the foul line and keep the ball in the lane no matter what Dan McClellan does. Amazing comeback for Anthony going three in a row and then the 210 split and then firing back with a five bagger. Age 19. History in the makings, back to back weeks on the PBA Tour major championships. Last week, Jesper Svensson. This week, Anthony Simonson. Well, McClellan bowled nice today. He bowled real solid. Made some nice shots. It's nice to see Dan back. Dan's going to go back to his, his home and his job in Canada. And Anthony Simonson is going to make history here today. Dan McClellan having kids and family. He said it flipped my switch. I'm not as high strung. And perhaps enjoying his time out on the PBA Tour just a, a little bit more. And a runner-up finish at the United States Bowling Congress Masters. Anthony Simonson, as rough as it gets at home, leaving school, turning to bowling for friends, for competition. Going through the regional program, Rookie of the Year there. Eagle winner for the United States Bowling Congress. What a moment. I just think it's amazing where this young man is mentally. Let him enjoy this moment. Anthony Simonson, the youngest ever to win a major on the PBA Tour, just turned 19 years old. That's for you, Mom. For you!
doubles winner on the PBA Tour this year, major championship winner, player of the year candidate early in 2016. It's 19-year-old Anthony Simonson. Yeah! You are the yeah! 2016 Masters champion. Great bowling. Thank you. You're a future, bud. Keep it going. Jesper Svensson, the youngest at the Tournament of Champions. Anthony Simonson, the youngest ever to win a major. We'll talk to him when we come back live at Woodland Bowl. My boy.